There was a protest here in Gwinnett County when they started requiring masks last week. In Cobb County, where masks are still optional, there is a fierce debate online. But the mother I spoke to says she's a doctor and it was a never a debate in her home. Her kid was going to wear a mask. My child was very upset yesterday. This mom didn't want us to show her to protect her son's identity as she talks about his first day at Mount Bethel Elementary School in Cobb County. My child was wearing a mask and a face shield that I had asked him to wear. And this kid actually pulled down his uh, face shield repeatedly and said, you don't need this. She says she reported it to the school. The school got back with me yesterday and they did verify that this actually happened. The district sent us a statement saying there is a zero tolerance policy for bullying over masks. But as of today, masking is still optional in Cobb County. Gwinnett County changed its policy right before school started to now require masks. Parents protested that decision. We want to unmask our children. Yes. ER physician Murdad Adashami works with COVID patients every day and says the science proves masks are not harmful to children in any way. We've had studies now, many studies now, that are proving that going to school is okay as long as kids are masked. Our own data shows cases among school-aged children are rising. 304 five to nine year olds have the virus. The biggest spike, 625 10 to 17 year olds have COVID. The Department of Public Health classifies all age groups as having a high number of cases, with the numbers continuing on an upward trend. So my child is going in person and double masking at this time, and this is really worrisome for both me and my child. A state representative just wrote a letter to the governor asking him to ban mask mandates in schools throughout the state.